Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign playing as a certain nation, we'll say. So, this is the World of a Southern Victory mod. This takes place, well, right now it'll take place for us in 1910. Before we begin, we're going to leave Historical AI on first. The focuses will be on Historical, just because I've never actually played this mod before, and I want to see what it's like, but of course you have to play as the main star of the mod. A couple, uh... CF states. We'll put it like that just because, for a few reasons, which, which I'll get to into it just a little bit. Just because, um, there's an introduction. Welcome to World of a Southern Victory. It's a game adaptation of the Harry Turtle Dove's epic novels in the Southern Victory series, as made to mirror the events of the novels as closely as possible. So, if you'd like to re continue reading that, go right ahead. And for maximum historicalness, you must turn on historical focuses, which we have done. So, and we'll go with historical treaties. Awesome. Let us go. We got a couple guys here. And also, let you know, this focus tree, I think it's taken from the old, old Great War mod. Um, not the Redux, I think, but just the actual old Great War mod. So we have some of this stuff that we could do. And honestly, our focus tree isn't huge, but I'm willing to give this a shot. So, we could have the Mexican question, which actually Mexico right now is a puppet of us. Or we can do the Northern Menace, in which we can join the Entente. Now, I would like to tighten control in Mexico, but we'll see what happens. First, let's do a political effort. The time for reform is now. While the nation has been fine under the guidance of the system of, of old for years, these turbulent times require a government that is in position to respond to them. Whether we choose to change our ways as a nation or bolster our existing government to stand up to new external threats, political change can do nothing but benefit our nation and people's future. We get political power, and welcome to these states. Ah, it's a weird feeling seeing this. A little weird, but that's okay. Cool. Uh, ooh, we got some ships that need to be taken care of. Yes, dreadnoughts. Uh, you know, I will fix that up um, pretty soon. Let's do that. We're going to need some planes. We don't have tr fighters. That sucks. We have no armored cars. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, we have uh, field artillery. That's good enough. Let's get some research and build some factories. Oh, yeah. This is definitely the old Great War mod with this type of stuff. Um, actually, you know what? We don't need that. We probably don't need that. Just do supply consumption instead, do some, cons some construction stuff, do some production efficiency cap, and let's grab better research speed to begin with, and build. We want to build up a southern industry as best as fast as possible. 60, North Carolina, my, one of my favorite states, just like all the others, and we'll do bop bop, and I will explain myself in just a little bit. Artillery divisions looking pretty not great. These guys are looking pretty awesome, so we're going to make a lot of grenadier divisions. Give me about 12 at a time if we can muster that we got state guards which will become our uh, coast guard fleet and then we have cavalry divisions which well they're for garrisons really so uh what else do we have let's let time go on just because this mod is a little slow because it has to process quite a bit so a lot of it's just going to be us blazing through things the death of king edward the eighth we live in north america we don't care about any kings over there but kind of just because well we have somewhat good relations with them and also wood is a resource in this mod and mexico is a puppet of myself so gotta keep an eye on them albanian revolt the balkans are a powder keg cool so uh, a few reasons why i actually want to try out this mod first of all it's a new mod something different something new i mean i've actually been playing the great war redux mod for a while so and this is still world war one I, I and mean, it's 1910 it's close enough um so i figured you know what why not let's try it out uh second reason uh, I've always wanted to play as a confederate, I'll be honest here. I'm from North Carolina, doesn't mean I'm actually so culturally southern, but I do. I haven't played as uh, the confederates, ever. So, so this will be kind of fun, kind of different take on things. And third of all, and most importantly actually, I want to, this is kind of a YouTube experiment. You know, between the opening scenes here with a background of what you might call a flag that YouTube doesn't like, and my thumbnail with that Poland ball on it that has a certain flag that YouTube doesn't like, I want to see if I can still monetize this. I'll probably let you know in the next video if I can. Great, if I can't, oh well. <laughs> Anyways, let's grab some state guards. Let's throw them on the coast. That'll be nice. Uh, Confederate coasts. Let's see how far we can get with this. And my goal, probably for this campaign, would be to, of course, ooh, Meriwether Walker. Sure, he's pretty good on defense, so that's pretty good. Um, beat the United States. We also own Cuba. I didn't realize that, but yes, we own Cuba, which is a dream come a dream come true, as some might say. Cool. Next focus. Now we do the status quo, daily democracy support. Right now we're led by Woodrow Wilson, and we're pretty democratic under the Whigs party. We have um, 
a little bit of segregation, an agricultural nation, which eh, we need to get rid of, southern aristocracy, which really hurts our military leader costs and political power game, and we have military traditions, which looks pretty darn good. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and grab something that people usually don't like me doing and get BB Comer. Comer. Just so we can mitigate this, Southern Aristocracy, and now we shall do... We're not going to go with the Progressive Movement, we're probably just going to go with the status quo. Um, and, um, yeah, there's this focus called this. I'm not even going to say it, just because I'm just going to put this out there. What happens in this mod doesn't necessarily reflect my real-world views. I like to roleplay, so we'll go down the focus trees and do stuff. I'll put it like that. This mod or may or may not reflect my personal views, which probably doesn't, honestly, but we'll see what happens. So, let's do the Mexican question. Mexico has been subservient to us since the Second Mexican War. What should we do with them? Uh, good, we're making some shifts. Oh, that's right, we are here. Um, sure, I don't really care. Put everyone under one dude, because... Thank you. And Benson? Uh, I'm looking... There's a lot of 2-2-2-2s. Two, 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 Levon Helm. 2-2-1-1. Two, 2-2-1-1. Two, two, one, one. Two, two, one, one. Uh, he's level 4, so we gotta go with this guy. Bent... Benson. Pretty cool. And you guys train. Because you know what? We own Texas. And Oklahoma. So... Train out the wazoo, my friends. Train, train, train. Let's let the time go on as well. Uh, you guys are looking pretty weird. You guys are just the normal grenadiers, I believe. Yes, you are. Hello there. So, yeah. This would definitely be a social experiment for you, too. Oh, I already did that. Cool. Do that. Thank you. Two main armies. Do we really want two main armies? Probably not, actually. Let's put you up again. Let's time to go on. Japanese annex Korea. They have some sort of treaty. Doesn't really interest us right now. That's totally fine. One, two, three, four. There you go. Actually, you know what? We can build them there, too. Even though this is cavalry. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm pulling out the cavalry. Mm, do I want to pull out the cavalry? Do I not want to? The cavalry divisions are what? Eight combat width. Oh, that does not seem really good for us. Fifteen. You know what we could do? I'm going to cut you guys down in half. Half you guys are just going to switch to there. Half you guys are going to come this way. Because you guys will be the special forces for now of the group. But out of supply, attack, reports, Mason. Put them under Mason. That'd be nice. Good. I want to make these guys thick. Really thick. And before we get too far, cavalry divisions. Um, actually, you know what? Let's not rename them. Cavalry. We're going to duplicate it. Good horses. There you go. Let's pause it. Cool. Kingdom Montenegro is proclaimed. Cool. Good horses. Construction, and now we can rename this to Garrisons. There you go. But you guys are good horses. Delightful horses. Cool, and now we have everything we can do. We can use some encryption. We can go down... So this is the old Great War mod, which made us go down this path for Cult of Offensive Doctrine, for our land doctrine. So we might as well go ahead and do that. We might as well go ahead and do something else here. We might need some field hospitals. I definitely want to make sure we get maybe some sort of tank in the end. We could grab some of that. Plane-wise, we're pretty good already. We can get some early fighters, but not yet. Ship-wise, I might want some battle cruisers, actually. That wouldn't be too bad. Light cruiser twos. You know what? We'll put we'll put one on production. That seems kinda nice. And we'll do that one too. Cool. Let's let time go on. We got plenty of political power. Almost a little more than one a day. Which come in handy. Come in handy quite a bit. Wow, we are really lacking some serious firepower. Wow. Regardless, that's okay. Right now, um, Jeb. You know, if I see the word Jeb, I've got to go for him. I love Jeb. Jeb. Ugh. Jeb forever. Oh, uh, William Siebert? Sure. You can be led by James McRea. Here we have a Mexican question. Robert L. Bullard. That's pretty good. The Mexican question. Now, we can... Okay, so let's come over here. So, occupy territories, manage subjects. Mexico is a subject of us. However... If we tighten our control, we literally annex Mexico because we are on historical AI. That sounds like fun. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. Now, I'm going to ignore this path just a lot. Reorganize the Confederate Army. We, we could focus on this, but I'm gonna, I'll get land auction. But other than that, it's okay. You get bonuses to research, but you know, eh, it's okay. And I really want to do all this stuff, this unique stuff, before we get too far. So, appease uh, Confederate aristocracy. This doesn't really help us that much. So, let's do the Northern Menace. How about we tighten controls of Mexico? While Mexico holds a very different type of people than the CSA, their lands could be of 
some use, and they just straight up lose an autonomy level. Now, we could go with partial mobilization, which actually would be really good. Let's do that first, since we won't be able to get to war economy for a long time, and the next time we get enough political power, we will grab Jeb. God, I love Jeb. Uh, anyways, I could raise this to 20 combat width, but because we're out of guns already, I want to field as many divisions as possible first. That's the most important thing. We could make it 20 combat width. We're going to wait. I want to make these guys at least just slightly bigger. Just, there you go. That'll make me happier. Okay, throw on some artillery too. That'll make me happy as well. Now I'm feeling pretty good about myself. And now we have Portugal becomes a republic. It is proclaimed. Go out, take one, two. Or just one. That's fine. There you go. If everyone shares one dude or one division here, we can be pretty equal. Sharing is caring. You know, these artillery divisions, I could make them 40 combat width. Uh, but if I'm going to make some 40 combat width divisions... I'm going to make them off of the Grenadier Division, so... And we'd have to throw on an extra... Um, uh, support company. That's a word I'm looking for. Or phrase. An extra support company I would need to throw on that. So it just costs a little bit too much army XP when we don't have enough. And there we go. It's almost... Yeah, it's almost 1911. Very nice. Very good. And we will train these guys. But let's first get a couple more generals. Like Guy. And the next one is Dude. No. Samuel. No. Samson. Samson. Very cool. Go ahead and train, guys. Grab us that army XP. We love it, love it, love it. And, you know, you can be led by another person. Hey? Well, we want to be attacked. So, Bliss? Do we like Bliss or Summerall? I know a girl name. A girl name? No, a girl one. Uh, her last name was Summerall. So, we'll go with Bliss. They're pretty much the same. Bliss. Ah, uh, I love Bliss. Hey! We can lower the autonomy of a subject. Costs us 50 political power, but that's okay. Whatever. Let's get some economic aid to Mexico. In order to strengthen Mexico, we must give them financial aid. So, they'll get some Confederate economic aid, which gives them less consumer goods factories, 20% construction speed, and way less daily autonomy gain. Wow. That's not bad for them. Well, it's not great, but whatever. Uh, Meriwether. Actually, you guys, the coast, the state guards. Yeah, you're not looking great. Give me two guys for now, since we got quite a few places to cover, including Mexico, because you never know. You never know what might happen. Uh, we have a... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is looking disgusting. This is the light cruiser. Protected light cruiser. This is... Hmm. This is Mark 1's? Oh, you have no... Oh, you have no armor. Why would you do that? Um, armored cruisers, I'm sorry. I'm just not interested in you. It's not you. It's me. I have high demands, so... Destroyers, those are nice. Oh, good carriers. But that's three years away. Holy cow, battle cruisers! I love battle cruisers. We might just go with the battle cruisers because he can produce them faster. You know what? Let's go with battle cruisers. I never use battle cruisers, even though I love battle cruisers so much, so much. Uh, next up, eh, might as well get that because we can. Uh, what were we doing? Ah, oh, yes, ship stuff. Always, you know what? More ship stuff. We can trade away to the Russian Empire, the good guys in Russia, because they're part of the Entente, and we want to join the Entente someday as well. One, two, three. Louisiana, 50% infrastructure. Say it ain't so. Northern Texas or Northwest Texas. Good, good, good. Build, build, build. Southern industry must be the best. And yes, I am doing improved working conditions, which will hurt our ability to build things up, but does give us a little bit more stability, which will be very, very nice. Pinky, come on. Sorry about that. So, oh, we are doing free trade, you know. That seems like a very Confederate thing to do. Some A lot of free trade. I like it. Eventually, we might just have to switch down to something a little lower. Uh, limited trade, probably limited exports, export focus. That's good. And it's 1911, guys. Happy 1911. You know, hopefully, we maybe get a uh, certain firearm developed in this year, you know, readily available. Cool. And economic aid lets us do... I could do this stuff. I really want to, but... For 70 days, for just one factory, it's just not worth it, man. Uh, joint CSA-Mexico military planning. In order to strengthen the Mexican military, we must help them improve their officer corps and tactics. And we get a nice 20 army XP, which isn't too bad, in my opinion. Alright, so next up, let's keep looking at this stuff. Alright, so... which The bigger the number, the more it has cost, but that's okay. Oh, God, look at these submarinos. What is it? So, 360... You have an engine and a torpedo, and you have an engine... Why is this? 17, 14, 21... What the heck? 
Um, well, we have what we have here. I don't like destroyers. Wait, we have two light cruisers? Mm, if I have to make garbage light cruisers, they're going to be at least not garbage tier garbage. They're going to be bad. Don't get me wrong. But hold on. We go from level one to three. God, I don't like the number two, apparently. No radar, of course, that makes sense. We gotta get some... Don't, don't make ships if they have no armor. That just... Oh, that hurts me. Oh, that... Hey, hey, this is pretty good. This is a nice light cruiser. It may be, you know, old. It might be World War One style, but it's good stuff. Next up, uh, we could do uh, dreadnoughts. We already have quite a few dreadnoughts. Honestly, this isn't bad, but if we can make some battle cruisers... Sure, they're not great right now. What do we get? Level two, maybe even level three. They're slightly faster pr to produce. They're they're slightly you know, faster in general when they're you know in the water. They don't have nearly as much armor, but speed could be pretty darn useful, especially if you have, if you have enough screens to cover the area. So, we'll see how they work out. God, but I love having owning Cuba. Oh, so nice. So let's take a look at the faction map mode. So the United States and me, we're in separate factions, or we're not even in factions. Canada's in the Entente. Um. Russia still owns Alaska. That's a core state. Not a lot of people there. And pretty much this is Europe. Pretty normal stuff, you know. The Battle of Desik. The Balkans further destabilized. Cool. And, well, we have Russia in the Entente. And St. Petersburg, Berlin, Central Powers, Vienna, Paris, and London in the Entente. So that's pretty good. We have joint military planning. And we can just straight up annex Mexico. So, Mexico has become so dependent on us that they're practically an extension of the CSA. It's time to make that official. You know what? We won't even hit 1912 before we annex Mexico. Man, we go going to form a golden circle. Well, if we own Colombia and Central America, I suppose. But probably not. Field artillery upgrade, very good, very good. Uh, land doctrine, very good. That can wait. This stuff, you know what? Let's get some field hospitals, that'll be pretty necessary. And I do have a cup of, what was this? Guava ginseng black tea. Nice stuff. Mmm, very Hawaiian. And in case you were wondering where Hawaii was, it's owned by the UK. Uh, Sandwich Islands. Oh, as an American, this does not make me happy. I'll be honest, that really doesn't make me happy. But you know what? That's okay. Ah, Jeb, we've got Jeb. Everyone, please clap for Jeb. Jebberino. Alright, so we're going to wait on this dude. And if we get some of these good boys, mm, we can do that. Uh, garrisons. Oh, actually... You don't need this. We need military police. I'll switch that with military police, so I'm not going to touch it yet. Uh, mass charge, very nice. Let's go and throw on one of these guys as well, as well as an engineer company, just so that when we get navally invaded, if someone does navally invade us, we'll be fine. Let us grab some entrenching battalions for more support attack. Support attack, no, soft attack. Organization. Plus 50% entrenchment speed and plus 18. Just a flat 18 max entrenchment. That's a lot of entrenchment. That is a lot. And right now we're only out 50,000, 51,000 guns, only out 1,000 artillery pieces, and 2,200 support equipment. Not bad, as I say that with a smile on my face, but really not great. So by, probably by the end of 1912, we are going to be really trying to produce at least a few military factories, just because this is early game. We might as well do and build a bunch of civilian factories. As for efficiency, sure, let's get through that as fast as possible, because my goal is to smash the American Navy as fast as possible when war breaks out. Anti-Canadian policy, good. Piss off the Canadians. That's good. They have 3 million to 4 million manpower. Look at their fleet. That's a massive fleet. We need a bigger fleet. If we don't have as big of a fleet as they do, the way we will win is by out-researching them with our naval doctrines. Because if you don't do your naval doctrine, you are going to go nuts. And apparently, Mexico has refused to submit to our rule. War it is. That is not bueno. Please stop training, everyone. We have a slight conundrum on our border here. Actually, don't even do that. There you go. Uh, war it is. We declare war on them, probably. So I am not going to click on that just yet. So we will do the status quo. The Whig Party has made the Confederacy prosper. There's no reason to get rid of them. Machu Picchu has been discovered. Cool. And you know what? You guys can also stop training and have a little bit of conflict here. Let's see what happens. Get everyone on the border. Three. Uh, actually, how long do we have to wait? Ten days. We got. We got time. <sighs> this tea is very nice. Very delightful tea. And we got three days. You guys are almost there. They won't even see this coming, probably. Here we go. War it is. Um. Wait. Can we go to war with them? 
Oh, wait, 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 hold on, we can't go to war with them. Oh, that sucks. We all, we have a war goal. Oh, wait, hold on. We need to get these guys out of there, too. Oh, we didn't even put them in there. I didn't even put them around here, too, either. Well, I guess we can't go to war with them just yet. But we have a permanent war goal against them. Say la vie. It is what it is. We will not forget this, Mexico. So, we can't annex Mexico. That's okay. We'll see what happens. Battlecruisers. Um, what else are we going to do? We could do that. We could. Let's get some better reinforcement first, though. That's really weird. They gave me a war goal. Confederate economic access. Well, we'll just straight up annex you later then. That's okay. That's totally okay with me. They're still our puppet. I can still probably use and abuse their manpower and divisions, which actually is a good idea. Don't want to forget that. Um, if anything, I'm not sure where we would put our guys first. Maybe Springfield? Maybe here around in Missouri? I could do crisis. The tension is growing. Be very, very tense. Very good, very good. St. Louis? Sounds like a good place to go. Uh, nation building. Does that... It gives them more stability for 120 days. More democracy. If, in this case, we're just going to lower them and lower them and lower them. Make them go boom and go bye-bye. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's go and do this. 14, 3... What about 5? 5 looks amazing. Mexico, that's an amazing template. I love it. Train. There you go. I love Mexican divisions, even though we want to take them out and they don't want to be fully annexed by us. But not yet. We will annex them later on. We will. Don't get me wrong. We will. <sighs> Mona Lisa has been stolen. Oh no, he just walked away with it? What? Really? We don't have a lot of factories. Only 73. That's pretty darn bad. We only have 11 military factories. That's so bad. Such garbage. Ah, but we have the status quo, in which urbanization appeased Confederate aristocracy. The Confederate aristocracy holds great power, and taking them head on would be costly and unwise. <sighs> they have a lot of power, my friends. A lot of power, which we might need to break up. And right now, this Mosby looks pretty good. Popular figurehead also looks pretty good. War Industrialist, that's nice. I'm probably going to go with Robert Sloss for now, because I think these don't really give us that much. Dixie Electronics, Texas Oil Company looks pretty good. Yeah, Tredegar Arms, Nashville Arsenal. Yeah, they don't give us anything really special here, just the normal generic stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and really pump up our civilian industry, just to produce, produce, produce as fast as possible in early game. We also might consider building a lot of trenches. Trenches would probably be a very nice thing to have. A very, very nice thing. Cool. And we're doing well in guns, though. 26 a day? Not great, but not bad. Why can't the people just arm themselves? Don't they believe in guns down there? Uh-oh. And the Qing Dynasty, or the Qing Dynasty, is trying to kill itself. Wow. That looks disgusting. Xinhai Revolution? That looks really, really bad. Wow. Hmm. Mm, what am I thinking here? Military Police is next. I'm glad I just said that as we got that done. Military Police it is. Thank you. We only have half a million manpower on limited conscription, which is not good. Um, conservatism, more daily democracy support, order of the golden circle. Now, I don't know if we can actually go with this ultra-nationalism. Probably not, but hey, maybe someday the mod keeps getting updated. we got naval convoys. Very good, very good. Let's go ahead and grab the next one. Naval convoy escort. Not bad, not bad. 90, that's not, 0.6 a day, that's... That's pretty darn good, not gonna lie, that's pretty darn good. Hmm. I haven't told you guys yet what mods I'm using. Save transfer tool mod, as you can see at the top of the screen. I'm using the World of the Southern Victory mod. Color the peace conferences, color buttons, color events. You know, the usual stuff that I use. If you think I should use a different type of uh, mod in, for my campaign, such as maybe a different font mod, let me know in the comments below. Just because I haven't experimented too much with font mods or other little small little aesthetic changes that mods can give us. So just let me know in the comments below if you think I should maybe try something else new and different. I'm open to new and different things. Uh, let's see, 50%. It's not. I said at the end of 1912 I would start doing military factories, but we're not quite there yet. We have radio, which is nice. We could do recovery rate. Uh, that's okay. Research speed. Oh, I wish to do that early. Barrel projects. Some of our artillery captains have proposed an armored artillery tractor for the use 
Oh, there goes Turkey. On the battlefield, while this sort of design is unlikely to go anywhere, or for that matter, unlikely to be even built yet, it is the first step, a first important step to ensuring that these sorts of ideas might one day come into reality. Next up, we shall do. We have done the status quo and appease Confederate aristocracy with this thing called the Socialist Black Uprising. I'm a little worried about that, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sure. Every own state seems pretty good, but let's do the Northern Menace just in case. So the USA is by far our biggest threat. We must prepare against them. Get political power for it. Good. An Italian invasion of Libya. Very nice. Can't do that. There's no point doing that yet. I mean, yeah, we could trade for more wood, but that's kind of okay with me. I don't mind trading for a little wood. Over here, we're going to grab... 15% is not bad. Democratic reformers, okay. Long Street, Socialism, Military Factories, probably be the one we want to choose. Yeah, War Industrialist, just because I want to get him now so that when we start building Military Factories, we can just jump out the gate building, 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 building. Good, and don't want to forget, you guys, Garrison, switch this over to Military Police when we're ready, and good horses. Good, even better horses. Yeah, there you go, and let's watch Olivia fall. Now, we should have some sort of Balkan crisis here eventually. Athens. Oh, Italy has invaded uh, Tobruk. That's right. It is Tobruk. Very nice, very nice. And we got a, quite a while, especially for naval convoy escorts. That takes a long time. Wow. And how is our stockpile doing? Less than 50,000. Less than 50k. Artillery is at 1,300, which isn't terrible. Not great. We could really use a bigger industry. Yeah, we could really use a bigger industry. But hey, we at least we got 84% stability, which is kind of nice. Northern Menace, anything else? Yeah, let's look at some other focus trees. France, for example. The South Pole's reached. Don't care to support the UK, which is good. Generic things over here, and they have their little path on the left side. Send French diplomats. Triple Entente. L'Armée de Orient. Support these guys in Greece. Allied bases in Greece. Revanchist propaganda. Get Alsace Lorraine back. Cool. Next up, let's look at the UK one real quick. Secretary of State for the Colonies. Well, it's, it's very similar, they have this part over here too, but they could either support Wilhelm II, anti-German policy, send British diplomats, support the Russian Empire, pretty normal stuff, send T.E. Lawrence, pretty good, pretty good, respect the 1907 convention or ignore the convention, guarantee the Persia's independence, or get the treaty or investment, company investment, it's not bad. Cool, very cool, and Germany. Support Austria-Hungary, huh, Kaiser? Kaiser? No, Kaiser, not Kaiser, Kaiser. Huh, support Italy. Honestly, if you supported Italy, you might keep them in your faction. Just saying. You might want to do that, but... The Friend Ottomans, Berlin Bogd Baghdad Railway, Asian Corps, Polish Wehrmacht. I believe I have played as Germany in the Great War mod. Like, the literal Great War mod. Not the Great War Redux, but Great War mod. And let's do this one next. Let us... We could do urbanization. Since we could do, do get one infrastructure. Strengthen British ties is okay. Joint CSA Canadian military planning. Let's strengthen our French ties. The French are one of our oldest allies, helping us in the war of secession, and again in the Second Mexican War. If another war is to come, it is only natural that we stand with them again. Yes, we love the French here. The French are very good people. The very delightful folks. Ah, uh, Nashville. What do I want to do? Research fleet stuff? Oh, the New Orleans Naval Yard. That's not bad. That's actually really good. Norfolk. Norfolk, you... Every time I see that, you hurt me. But we're going to go with Texas Oil. Synthetic oil research times industry, just great stuff. Great, great, great stuff. And research is almost done with military police, which takes forever. Italy, Italy. Who is Italy led by? Vittorio. Vittorio Emmanuel III. Good. It is 1912, my friends. Happy 1912. We're still trying to build ourselves up. It takes forever, I know. This will be done on August 10th. Wow. That one just got done. That's good. And the next one we will do is the one in South Carolina. I could do it not on the coast, but I don't want to put factories on border states. Um, I really don't want to. Yeah, I built one right there, I know, but still. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Ship-wise, I think we have enough ships, but mm, we'll do that one. And I guess we'll do a ship there. Cool. So now we have a plan of how we are going to manage our production of factories. You know what? Just go and do that one first. That's fine. It won't take that long. Two months at max. Duke, Grand Duke William IV dies. What is that? Is that really how he looks? Of Luxembourg. Oh. It's first Catholic monarch. Five years of regency due to poor health and old age. Wow. Military police. I love the military police. 
Oh, the Balkan League has been proclaimed, eh? Infantry recovery rage. Oh, let's get that one. That's, that's really good to do. Alright, we almost have enough army XP. Almost. Almost. Again. Oh, you guys can still train too, probably. Uh, we are down to 47,000. It's not looking great just because things cost a lot of mo money. No. Equipment. A lot of equipment. Hey, I did not realize students was independent. Is that historical? Faith in Allah. Faith. Faith in Allah, please. Neutral foreign policy. Very cool. That's not bad manpower. I'm loving this right here. That's okay. Oh, come on. Work on them guns. Do we're doing well on all this stuff. Just when the war breaks out. Oh, the USA might run into my lines like crazy. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. And let's switch this out. Let's get rid of that. Throw on some military police. Requires more guns, but less support equipment, which is actually okay with me. Since support equipment isn't super easy to make, it's not difficult, but it is what it is. But Canada requests military aid. Canada has requested 5,000 rifles from us in order to boost or bolster their military forces. Should we accept? We need everything we have, or we have some guns to spare. We will give them 5,000. Tregadar, Mark III to Canada. Well, I'm not sure where you're finding the guns. You might be raiding homes to get those guns, but... Good luck with that. So, let us strengthen British ties as well. The British are one of our oldest allies, helping us in the War of Secession, and again in the Second Mexican War. If another war is to come, it is only natural that we stand together with them. Now we finish entrenching battalions. So we can do mobile defense for more soft attack, and mobile position for more organization and division speed, or static defense, which you get more heart attack, which is okay, it's not great. Uh, or static position, which is good for a lot more organization, a little bit less division speed, and but better reinforce rate. I'm thinking with extra soft attack, that's the way to go. So with rifleman primacy, because well, we go shoot, shoot, pew, pew, and we should have a good time doing that. And we're almost done making that nice. Good, keep making this, keep making all that, and we'll move you up. That, that's a little nicer. Spain, I think they have probably a generic focus tree. Probably Alfonso the Thirteenth. Yeah, it's pretty generic. Support France, support Germany, support Austria-Hungary, support Russia. Pretty generic stuff. Um, we currently get 1.13 political power. We have an early barrel project. Let's come back over here and do production efficiency cap. This research takes forever to do. Oh, no, not the Titanic. Women and children first. Oh, no. <clears throat> Jabal Shamar. Ev hmm. Sounds very familiar to me. Wow, look at the Republic of China go. It's going to town on itself. Oh, what do we want here? That looks pretty good. Uh, let's get some... Now, we probably have more things to research for infantry than we do have for artillery. And actually, India exists as well. That's... Uh, is that the historical flag for India in World War One, Earl of Minto? I want to say no. I think that flag only came to... It might have been officially the Indian flag in the late 40s? Maybe early 50s? I don't know my Indian history that well. There's so much history out there that I, I really don't know. But regardless... I think that's pretty much all the time that we have for today, my friends. We only got to 1912. I'm trying to go as fast as possible just to get to the conflict, which will probably happen, hopefully, in the next episode. Regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, maybe. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, where I will let you know whether or not this video gets demonetized or taken down for any reason possible. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.